Well, howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Man Land. Here I am standing like this again. Ah, what we're doing right here, I'm going to attempt to make a fire on top of this snow and ice. Yeah, why? I don't know. It's a Sunday. It's actually kind of warm out here. I really don't need this jacket. But the wind's blowing. And it kind of feels like I'm doing this on top of an iceberg. It's plenty cold out here, especially under the fences. The fences? Fusses? Yeah. Good thing I got boots on. Wish me luck. Yeah. The first thing I'm gonna do is put me something down, kind of thick, and make myself a base. If I can reach it. I, I can't, can I reach it? Uh, there we go. Now that right there ought to be pretty damn good to get a small fire started. Now what I got here is the old flint and steel. This right here is an old file. It works good. It came from John the M.I. Woodsman. And uh, I think he already knows how I got it. So I'm going to give it a little wipe on the blue jeans here just to get some of that extra, uh, you know, whatever it happened to be in there. Because it's been inside my fire kit. A little piece of char cloth, folks. I know you like charred pump wood, and so do I, but char cloth works so much daggum better when it comes to doing this technique, and uh, I'm going to turn the fibers around to this here actual piece of flint that Bones Yard got from somewhere. I'm sure he'll leave the comment in the comment section below, so whoever it is that gave it to Bones, appreciate it. So now I'm going to sit there and uh, try to start me a little fire, but I'm trying to do it where you can see it. Let's see. See if I can get me a spark. I turned the, the edges here with a little more frayed and I'm actually doing this backwards I usually hit this thing I usually hold the flint in the right hand and hit it with the the, the, flint st the, the steel is usually in my left hand but I'm, I'm doing it for camera for some reason oh. man I'm hitting all around this thing and it that landed directly on something wrong with my char cloth here. Hmm. I wonder if this is stuff I overcooked. Oh. Burning the whole dang time. I'm telling you, I got snow blinds. I can't see the crap. Let me get the stuff to make the actual bird's nest. Now this right here is that Kingsford charcoal starter. And I've got the char cloth right there in the middle. I just want to see how well it will work. If it does work, it's going to flame up pretty quick. Uh oh, here we go. Flame. Now, while I got the flame, let me get it to the fireplace. To the fire pit. Come on with me. Get your point down. I actually threw it in there and missed my logs. Sure did. And it's windy as all get out out here. So, and my shadow's gonna be in the way. But the flat, am I still recording? I hope that was working. Yeah. Uh, I got these itty bitty sticks I've batoned it. Let me try to get them on there right quickie. And, uh, I ain't too much worried about this wind blowing this fire out of control because, folks, uh, I don't think nothing's going to actually catch on fire here. There's uh, ice and snow coverage. That wind is going to really help. Get these here sticks and twigs going. Man, that thing's blowing like a blowtorch. I like that. Let me get you off this here perch and let you take a look see. Yeah, I'm zooming back out. Am I zooming out? Yeah. Alright, going to be windy. Yeah, check that out. And that's just the initial fire starter. Works good with flint and steel. Just don't have snow blindness when you try to light your, your flint and steel. Charcoal off that is. <laughs> 